Are you serious? Are you serious? What have we learned from the CERN? Well, uh, we learned they're going to have a Halloween party. The CERN Dancing Club um, has the pleasure to invite everyone to its first annual uh, dancing party taking place Friday, October 30th. Um, it's going to begin at 2100 hours local time there. This is an all dances party. As tradition goes, you're invited to come in disguise. Uh, and uh, the most original costume will be awarded a prize. As a matter of fact, they're doing, they're going to have a DJ there. Uh, the party's open to everyone. Club membership's not required. Uh, entrance, entrance to the party is free. There's going to be a, even a potluck party, and you bring something to eat, and the club provides non-alcoholic drinks. Now, alcoholic drinks are not permitted on the club premises, so they're going to be having a dancing party, Halloween party at the CERN. They're going to be dancing with the devil. But now, um, and so we're, and we, but that's not the only thing going on at the CERN. The next day, Halloween itself, the CERN is going to crank the, uh, the collider to its highest levels. They're going to, they're going to make the beam run at the highest levels. Uh, the, the, uh, TEL, uh, the, uh, the TEV was going to be, I don't know, off the charts. Uh, there's been different people who have researched it and have heard diff we've heard different amounts of, of speed and power that they're going to crank up with this thing. We know the CERN is, of course, a European organization for nuclear research, physics, and engineers. They're probing the fundamental, they say, structure of the universe. They're trying to literally crack open a black hole. Um, they, they, you know, they're trying to find what's called the God particles by colliding protons at the speed of 99.9% .9 of the speed of light. Yet even Stephen Hawking says, please don't do this. Don't crank it to its maximum. We don't know what it might do. Um, you know, you, you're, the, the, they're using the world's largest and most complex scientific instruments to study the basic con, um, basic knowledge of, their, of matter, whether it be matter coming from dark matter. Uh, similar to what God said he did in, in the book of Genesis, and he said he made light out of the darkness. Uh, and that's why it's called the God particles. Um, trying to understand the DNA of the universe itself and how the universe was first created by God, if you believe there's a God, and of course I do. Everything in his word has come true and every prophecy is being, is being fulfilled. Not a flaw in God. God is perfect. God is light and in him is no darkness at all. And so uh, there's no confusion here. But the devil is the author of confusion. Of course, Lucifer, the fallen angel, is the, sometimes even tries to illuminate himself or r reveal himself as an angel of light. And brings deception and confusion and accusations and lies always against the body of Christ. So anyway, they're going to be dancing with the devil the night before they crank up the CERN at the CERN. They're in Switzerland, in Geneva, Switzerland. It's quite crazy that that's where the negotiations were going on for the Iranian nuke deal <laughs> in the same area. I mean, just it kind of blows my mind. But the CERN's been around since 1954, and... Um, uh, it's not going anywhere. Matter of fact, we believe that there is probably four, between four and 13 other uh, colliders, other um, large machines like this 27 kilometer uh, underground tunnel with this beam on it that can collide these protons at enormous speed of light, which is just unbelievable. The accelerators boost beams of particles to the high energies before the beams are made to collide with each other with or with a stationary target. Detectors observe and record the results of these collisions. So uh, we don't know what's coming out of the CERN. We don't know if we have... Uh, look, every time they crank... I'll say this. Every time they crank the CERN, we have earthquakes. Every time they go real high with it, we have a big quake in Chile a big quake in Nepal, we have a big quake uh, over in uh, Afghanistan, and they all tie to the times that the beam was cranked to its highest level. So, dancing with the devil, the CERN.
What have we learned? Is there anything besides scientific research going on there? Or is there something more sinister, a whole lot more sinister, more demonic? As uh, we've heard a lot of reports. Matter of fact, we do know that when the CERN is cranked up two years ago, uh, that there were people were seeing demons. They were seeing the dead walking around in, the, in a spiritual realm. People went crazy, lost their minds, went insane. Uh, there was a lot of different things taking place in and around that area. Was it from the CERN or was it from some of the witchcraft going on around that area? I mean, uh, and at the, so uh, are you serious? What have we learned from the CERN? Jesus is coming soon.